Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another video. Today I am returning to my 10 minutes, 1 minute, 10 seconds challenge concept. The last time I did one of these was uh, almost exactly one year ago, so I might be a little out of shape, folks. We're about to find out. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, well, here we go. I am going to start the timer and start the drawing. I have decided to do a drawing of a Christmas porg from the new uh, Star Wars film. Uh, it's proven to be kind of a divisive film, isn't it? Uh, people seem to either love or hate this movie, and so they may either love or hate my video. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. Um, but one thing's for sure. Uh, drawing uh, even a fairly simple looking character like a Porg can be uh, more challenging than you might think because there's only so uh, many lines and that means that any line that you put in the wrong place uh, stands out uh, pretty clearly. I think sometimes with a more complex drawing, ironically, you can get away with inaccuracies more. Um, but let's not forget to put in the sort of Santa hat, which is going to be <laughs> A part of my silly concept. And I do feel that, um, at least in this 10 minute uh, version, I am going to have to um, add color. I think it's hard to, to see a porg drawing as a porg until you add color. Now, when we get to the one minute, or most assuredly the 10 second one, I think the idea of adding color is going to fly right out the window. We'll see. Maybe I can squeeze in just a little bit of color in the one minute version. But I thought during, uh, oh my goodness, it's already down to like eight and a half minutes. During this uh, first stage, I thought I might talk a little bit about um, The Last Jedi and uh, tell you where I weigh in on this. Uh, those of you who haven't been online a lot, I don't know if you're aware. I've, I have certainly seen um, wildly differing uh, opinions on this film seeming to go in all the way to both sides of the spectrum. Some people saying it's their favorite of uh, all the Star Wars films. And then, then of course, uh, people saying <laughs> they feel it is the worst Star Wars film ever made. It's sort of interesting how uh, people have really been pushed to one side or the other in terms of their opinions on this film. Me, uh, I fall somewhere in the middle. Uh, there were uh, parts of it that I liked a lot. There were parts of it that, well, I'll tell you that whole, uh, I don't, spoilers, I guess. I'll try not to get too far into specific plot details, but they do. There's this sort of uh, casino sequence. I hope that's not giving away too much. That whole sequence did not work so well for me. Uh, but um, certainly the, they focused on the characters a lot which is what I always like. You know, you need to care about the, the people in a story. And you can tell that that was kind of at the heart of this. It wasn't just a series of meaningless action sequences, uh, in other words. And um, again, I don't know if it's... Uh, look at the big frown. Isn't that interesting? One of the things about the, the, the design of the Porg that's sort of interesting to me is, <laughs> you know, they, they look so cute and yet they're frowning, so they look so sad. There must be some connection there. Uh, between a, a sad-looking animal and cuteness. Somebody tell me what is your uh, theory on that. But um, Probably uh, not too much of a spoiler to say that Luke uh, Skywalker um, is not presented as the uh, Luke that we used to know. He's, he, he seems to have uh, changed a lot. Uh, over the years, uh, the way they present him, and I've seen some people express disappointment about that uh, in terms of the film. Again, I don't have a problem with that, uh, per se. I thought, in a way, if he had been still the same old fresh-faced, you know, Luke and <laughs> uh, optimism and all that, you know, I think maybe uh, that would have been less interesting. But I can kind of understand the people who... Um, you know, sometimes a movie just does one thing and then it it loses you. And I've heard some people say, you know, you just you they just reached a breaking point with certain bold decisions that were made in this film. And uh, I can understand that that uh, it pushes you past a certain breaking point and then you you can't get back into it no matter how good it gets later on. Anyway, what else can I say during these remaining five minutes? I th one thing I can say for sure is that i got to hurry up and switch to my trusty black uh, Prismacolor. One thing about this 10-minute 
one minute, 10 seconds challenges, it, um, it sure, surely uh, shows you the difference between 10 minutes and one minute when it comes to drawing because uh, 10 minutes feels leisurely. Uh, I think actually I'll, I will expend some of this time on the eyes, which need to be jet black to get um, the full porgalicious effect. Uh, and certainly when I get to the one minute, I'm not going to have time for that. I said, you know, another thing I could talk about is my gratitude for the people who have done the 10 minute, one minute, 10 second challenge. It is certainly the most popular by far. Uh, of any challenge that I ever came up with, and just what a thrill to see it taken up by so many people. I'm pretty sure it uh, surpassed a hundred different videos uh, quite some time ago. I tried to keep an official uh, playlist a after a certain point. I just couldn't do it anymore. There was just, there were so many of them, and uh, yeah, what a what a thrill to see. And you know, you don't plan these things. I just say. I tried the idea and uh, it really took on a life of its own. I've seen people do, somebody did like an oil painting one, some people are doing like, uh, uh, you know, clay models and stuff. And uh, It's been kind of amazing to see uh, how far that uh, challenge went. And I should tip my hat to uh, Jazza because I think he is as responsible uh, as anyone, his his video ended up getting like two million views, so he definitely had a big played a big role in spreading the word about the, this particular challenge. So he either gets <laughs> credit or blame, depending on how you feel. <laughs> Come on, Chaza, you can join me. If they're attacking us, we shall fight them together. Uh, and also Vex, uh, tip of the hat to Vex. Uh, his video has also had loads of views, and so I think he also has uh, been responsible for spreading the word, spreading it around YouTube like a deadly virus. Uh, I better hurry up and get onto the coloring part. It's down to three minutes. Let's just do the uh, bottom of the, uh, we'll do the legs real quick. But I was saying, you know, the proportions, it can be tricky with something like this. I don't know if these are perfect. Porg uh, proportions. The legs really do look sort of like chicken feet. I'm surprised they went <laughs> so close to, like they've even got like the lines on them that we see. Um, but of course they also have a, a, a penguiny uh, look to them. And this shape here, a lot of people have pointed out, is very similar to Totoro, if not a straight up uh, tribute. Uh, to Totoro. So let's go ahead and switch. I'm going to bring out uh, the uh, orange because this uh, sort of orange brown seems to be a key defining characteristic. It makes a big difference, don't you think? Suddenly starting to look a little more porgy. <laughs> and uh, once I've got that, the other thing that I want to do, at least in this first one, is to give the Christmas hat a little Christmas red. Down to the last two minutes. I'm going to miss this, guys, when we move on to one minute. I'm going to miss having this much time. Oof. And uh, I did not do any trial runs of trying to uh, train myself to draw this character in one minute. When you see me do this in one minute, you're going to see me doing it for the very first time in one minute. And oof, it's going to be rough, folks be warned. Okay, I got one and a half minutes here. I think I can uh, do a bit of shading here. They are, they have like fur, right? Uh, unless that's some kind of feather, because they certainly do seem like birds, avian characters. But yeah, shading on the one minute version? <laughs> Forget about it. I don't think you're going to see me fiddling around with this. Actually, I should darken in the uh, tips of the wings. They must be flightless birds. Are they able to fly? They, those wings don't look capable of supporting that girth. Okay, we're down to the last minute here. And um, so you've got to make tough decisions here, Curly. What matters? What doesn't matter? What are you going to commit to? What goes out the window? 45 seconds. Come on. Maybe I can shade this. I thought maybe the bell. I could do just a little bit of coloring to the bell. Why not? It wouldn't be the silliest thing I could do with my last 30 seconds of life. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm committing to this, I'm darkening it in, we're gonna do some shading down here. I even actually set the, uh, reset my timer to make the alarm sound, just because I wanted that classic, deadly, <laughs> time's up, stop drawing kind of sound. So uh, you're gonna hear that coming up really soon. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. There you go, guys. Ten minutes, not too bad. Let's zoom in a little so you can see it in more detail. Okay, here we go, friends. <laughs> Wish me luck. Can I do a halfway decent drawing of a porg in one minute? We are about to find out, and we begin right now. Okay, I'm not going to do any of that pencil stuff. I'm just going straight into uh, something semi-final. Will I have time to add color? It's already 50 minutes. Uh, 50 minutes? <laughs> you wish. 50 seconds, 45. The time flying by. Let's get the darkness of the eyes. I may regret having spent time on that. Let's get that. Let's get the bottom on there. So you only got half a uh, minute to go. Um, gotta get the hat. That was your idea to include a hat, you idiot! Let's go ahead and get color in here because I'm not going to have time in a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're down to... <laughs> Who cares, Krilly? Just draw. Draw like the wind, man. Draw like the wind. He's got these little shapes. Why does he have these shapes down here? It's crazy. I got a color in the bottom of the legs. I forgot. Ah! Somebody help me save me from this terrible idea! <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, people. Oh, my heart's beating like a rabbit. That, uh, hey, you know, at least it's in color. I think this is a first for me. I never did a full color one before, but there you go. As predicted, no shading. It all had to just fly out the window. Uh, but you know what? This is going to look like the Mona Lisa compared to what I do in 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and refocus the camera. Ah, uh, people. People, I have never been so frightened in my entire artistic life. There it goes. We have set it to 10 seconds. I don't think there's going to be any color in this drawing. I just don't think it's possible. We'll see. I'm going to hit the button with this hand and start drawing with this hand. Here we go. <laughs> Get the eyes to a hat. Do a frown, nose, color. Ah! <laughs> oh, people, tears are rolling down my cheeks. <laughs> look at that. That is, oh, oh my goodness. That Look at those legs. That is really something. Let's refocus so we can compare, though I really don't want to, all three of them at once. All right, well, there you have it. Look what happens between 10 minutes, 1 minute, and 10 seconds. Suddenly, I become like a little baby holding a pencil for the first time, trying to figure out how it works. Uh, but I want to wish you all the very best for the holidays. I hope you guys have a wonderfully uh, restful uh, break. Uh, and if you want to keep it real restful, I advise you don't do this 1 minute, 10 second stuff, because that is not restful. That is not restful at all. But let me go ahead and lay down this pencil. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon. <laughs>